Good morning to another episode of Theory Made Easy. Today, very simple. I don't know. I think it is that way. I think I got it right. Okay, that is the bass clef. And that is the treble clef. Mind it, it's exploded. That is theory of music. Okay, seriously guys, uh, this is episode 15 of the t -Virals. Okay, today I'm talking to you guys about bodies of instruments, guitars, preferably. Mm -hmm. uh, the different sizes and the brief history of where they came from. So, I'm going to start with very simplicity of small to big, so that you guys get an idea. Okay, so uh, back in the day, obviously the first guitar was a nylon string guitar. Uh, only later on in the course of the century did we get steel strings put on the guitars. Um, there's a lot of talk about where the first steel string came from. Was it Mr. C. F. Martin or was it what's that other str that weird classical I can never really remember his name. But anyway, whether it was classically based or whether it was American based or whether it was German based, nobody actually knows. But yeah, the latest story was Mr. C. F. Martin was a German guy who moved to America with his family and started making steel string guitars. He got his knowledge from obviously the classical guitar maker, which his name still eludes me, but anyway, we'll, we'll, maybe I'll remember it later on. Okay, so jumping right in, this guy over here, he is a parlor. Now, a parlor is obviously designed for parlors back in the day you know, those little quiet little rooms and stuff like that four years and all that so they designed this particular guitar body size small guy for parlors makes sense okay so i'm going to be playing each one so you can hear a difference between the sounds um just a very quick little three chord number so you can see its body shape is very small it's actually got a very significant difference between the other guitars is that is your 12th fret joint. Normal steel strings have a 14th fret joint, so the neck is actually further out. Okay, okay so here we go. I'm going to start now. Please don't judge. <laughs> simple and then we move on to something called a concert so you can see the size now is much bigger 14 fret join because there's where your 12 fret join is now 14 fret join so it's a longer neck it's actually not really a longer neck it's just that they put the neck in to the body more in the parlor so it's a perception anyway so this is now the concert again they designed it for concerts so that's where the name came from hey all right Okay, so here we go, same thing. Okay, I don't know if you heard the difference there. Moving briefly on, we get a grand auditorium. So now you'll see it's a little bit more curvier than the concert. It's got more of a smaller shoulder here. This is what they call the shoulder. This is the, the body. Um, this guy is a little bit more comfortable, but gives you a bit more mid-range. Not as much as the parlor would, but still sufficient. Okay, so here we go, right back into it. the three smaller body guitars now we move on to something a little bit different which is still kind of a small body but what is this chrome going on here man what is this a guitar for a blingster no this is what they call a resonator so if you look carefully inside is an aluminium cone okay they make it from other materials as well but this particular one is made from aluminium then they put a 
wire or steel grid right around it and then secure it with a bridge so that the strings don't push on that current completely. It has a different type of sound as you'll hear now, but it's more for your slide music and kind of country genre, if you will. Okay, so you'll hear the difference now in sound between the other two, three and this one. Nasally, right? Yeah. So now if you envision my skill being better, I would be able to show you with the flipping slide or something. Do some extren extenuous exercises for you and, you know, make you feel like you're somewhere in America in the swamplands. Anyway, now you get another option called a 12 string. See the amount of head machine heads we've got here now. Dump them. One, two, okay, yeah. There's 12 of them. So basically what has happened here is you've got your standard conventional six strings. And on top of that, you've got octave strings. Octave strings meaning a higher pitch. So you've got, that's a higher E, and a lower E. So same pitch, just different octave. Catch my drift, right? Now if I play this guy. Chorusy, huh? Yeah, you can just picture that eagle's number coming out at you, huh? All right, and up to the big boy. Oh, I forgot that 12 string I just played now is what they call the dreadnought size, which is very westernized sound. Main road fisherman. Thanks. Um, so dreadnought, very westernized. One of the most common body type shapes. It gives you very bassy response as well as that kind of little bit of mids. But yeah, not as much as the smaller bodies would. So when you talk bigger body, this is what they call a jumbo. You get a heck of a lot more tone and more projection from it because there's more body, more sound waves bounce around inside coming out of the sound box. Okay, so this is now a jumbo. Okay, so that is bodies. There are a lot more different other ones that you get, like super folk. Um, what's the other one? Mini jumbo. You get all different other model numbers that resemble different things. But just is the just. Parlor, folk, grand auditorium, dreadnought, jumbo. Very simple. Um, Back in the day, the classical design guitar, as you can see, cut out in the headstock. The bridges were different back in the day as well, so everything was based off of a classical guitar, if you ask me. But, you know, that's not what uh, you'll find on Google. Anyway, that was it for me. Uh, Today's episode was sponsored by Fake a Knot. Fake a Knot? Correct? Alright. Where they sell knots or are they not fake? Fake a Knot? Oh, I don't know. Anyway. From me, have a good day further and remember to be safe out there. And yeah. Smaller bodies, bigger bodies. Whether you're small, whether you're big, whether you want the nice songwriting sound, or whether you want the I'm a mean guitar player sound, you gotta choose the right guitar for you. Alright, signing off.